This video is all about our relationship with the Blessed Virgin Mary. It's the 19th video of our summer book club hosted by Heather from A Catholic Mom's Life, which is on the 19th chapter from this book. And all of the other women who are posting on chapter 19 are linked below. So check them out after you watch this video. So I guess I don't have the strongest relationship with Mary, but I'm sure as I age and hopefully have children, that relationship will grow. Every morning and every night, I do say a very quick prayer. I say, Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. I do find a lot of peace knowing that Mary prays for me in my life now and will pray for me when my life is done. And as Catholics, we know that Mary initiated Jesus' first miracle, and Jesus listens to Mary, so her prayers are very powerful. So we find comfort in our families, people in our community praying for us, but we can also find so much comfort in the Virgin Mary praying for us. One of my favorite things about Mary is from John chapter 19, verse 25 through 27. If you look up chapter 19 in John, when Christ is on the cross, he looks to Mary and he says, behold your son. And then he looks to his disciple and he says, behold your mother. I think that's so beautiful and so important to remember. One of my previous parishes, um, every Good Friday, we would sing the last words of Christ before the main Good Friday service started. And I loved it so much because those last words of Christ are so important. I mean, when you think of the last words before someone dies, those are important. I love a lot of what he said, you know, I thirst, it is finished, but especially woman, behold your son, son, behold your mother. Jesus gave us his mother so she is our spiritual mother, and I think that's so beautiful and such a comfort to people who don't have mothers, who don't have good relationships with their mothers, who have good relationships with their mother, but maybe not a lot of other female support in their life. We all have a spiritual mother in Mary. I love how the author in this chapter lists all the ideal characteristics that you might think a mother should have, and it's so beautiful that our spiritual mother, Mary, has all of them. So not only is Mary such a comfort to us, but also an inspiration to us, because we know when the angel told Mary that she was going to give birth to Jesus, she said yes. She called herself blessed. So it's an inspiration to us to list our blessings, and to have gratitude for all that God has given us instead of listing our complaints. We can look to Mary and be inspired to say yes to God. The author talks about how when Mary appears to us on earth, we know she appeared at Lourdes, Fatima, Guadalupe, Knock. I'm so blessed to have gone to Lourdes and I have some holy water that I gave to friends and family, but I kept a little for myself and I look at it every day and use it sparingly. <laughs> but we know when Mary appears, she always asks us to pray the rosary and to meditate on the life, death, and resurrection of her son, Jesus. So it is important as Catholics that we pray the rosary. I have not always appreciated the rosary. It is a long prayer and it took time for me to develop that gratitude for this beautiful biblical prayer that we have. I love the rosary because it's so biblical and it tells the story of Jesus. I actually still don't know the Hail Holy Queen by heart because that's the prayer that's only prayed once at the end of the rosary, but every time I pray the rosary it's usually with an app and I'm listening to it or with a CD at home, and I'm also listening to it, so I mostly listen to the Hail Holy Queen. The author says, don't be embarrassed if you don't know a part of the rosary. Just pray it and memorization will come. Sorry if I'm repetitive, but I will link um, the rosary app that I love, as well as 
my favorite rosary CD that I love. I actually just recently found out about twined knotted rosaries. I saw them on Catholic Amanda's channel. I had never heard of those and I think those are so nice because if you want to pray a quick decade when you wake up or before you go to bed, that's a nice texture to have in your bed. So I just ordered one from rosaryarmy.com. You can order one too. They're free. You just pay shipping. Um, but I did make a small donation because I think that's such a beautiful ministry that anyone can order one of these beautiful rosaries. So I don't pray the rosary every day and I don't have children. So I'm thinking I should strive to pray it more. When I'm traveling, I love to pray it on my long drives because if I'm just driving straight, I find it so peaceful to just drive straight and see all the beautiful nature passing me and to pray a full rosary and a Divine Mercy Chaplet. And I love doing that. So usually when I travel, I pray when I drive and I don't use beads. <laughs> I just have my hands on the steering wheel. But when I travel, I do always keep a rosary with me because I just like having a crucifix with me all the time. And going to Catholic events, you never know when someone will say, hey, let's pray a decade or let's pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And so I love having a rosary on me at all times. So for my homework, I definitely am going to try to pray the rosary more. I hope you pray the rosary more. And also, I want to emulate Mary more and say yes to God and what he wants for my life. Definitely check out all the other ladies linked below, and I hope you're doing well. Bye!